getting ready to go water the bees. What does that mean? A lot of the times you can't see them because they're not moving, but they're all down in there getting water. So as these dry out, I have to add water. Of course, I have this over here that's also got bees getting water out of it. They're not particular whether or not it's... What I try to do is I try to pour it under. You know, it's usually easier for me to do it from this end. But I try to pour it between... where there's not bees at. I filled that one up yesterday. You can see water in between there. If I move it, you can kind of see the reflection. So like right here, there's actually several right there, a bunch actually. See all the bees down in there? It's kind of hard to get it. I usually try to do this at night time, which I'm probably going to have to do. But basically, I just bring out a glass of water. I fill this up so that the soil always stays wet. Kind of see it there on top of the soil? It's wet. This one over here is starting to dry out because I didn't get to fill it up yesterday. But I filled this one up yesterday. You can tell there's a lot of bees on this. And this is basically what I've been doing for years. I think these have been sitting out here now in this same spot for about four or five years now. When we get these hot days that are in the 90s, they're all over this. It's about noon on a Sunday. They're all over this. Now, kind of what I suspect is nutrients from those plants are getting into the water from those weeds. And that's why they're more attracted to this than that side. I suspect that. I don't honestly know that it's true. I'm going to try to do this now that there's some that aren't really. Whoops, there's one right there. They'll climb up. The weeds to get out. So this is a very safe method of doing this because they always have a way to get out. See that one right there? This is what I do. This is how I do it. I'll go ahead and add some more into this. When the soil dries out, it takes it a while to soak through. That's why I try to pour it like between. It really needs to be like up here. So basically I bring out like a cup of this every night for each one of these. Usually I do it at night, but it's hard to record at night so that you can actually see how it's done. And basically these are just seedling trays that have weeds growing in them. You can see there's gobs of bees 
getting water out of these every day all day long some will come over here but not near as many as the ones that have the plants in them that's why i'm saying it's kind of like the plants have something to do with that's what they prefer and i kind of assume that there's some sort of nutrients in the water generated by the plants whose roots are obviously you know they're bringing in carbon uh, carbon dioxide from the air converting that into oxygen as they grow but they're also releasing nutrients into that water and uh, the bees just they love it so I've got these sitting all over the property I mentioned that in the previous video they're literally sitting I've got probably 20 of these sitting around the property and you can go to eat any of these at any time of the day as long as it's daylight and there will be bees all over it now the funny thing is and I'll put an image up to show you I live right on a lake three sides of my property are surrounded by a lake but they'll always go to the closest source for everything doesn't matter if it's water nutrients pollen protein nectar whatever the closest source is is where they go and uh i'm just sharing this now because to be honest with you i just never really thought to do it in the past but this is a method i've been using like i said for years to keep the bees watered when the temperatures get really hot and it works great and it's cheap and economical i mean weeds grow everywhere you can also see, I, I mentioned this in the first video I did, these are only filled about half full of soil. And I did that mostly just to give like, I didn't want to waste soil for one. And uh, the other reason is because when it rains, that keeps us, the water from running out. If we get a really hard rain, several inches of rain, it keeps the water from running out. You know, because there's so much soil in it, the water would just run off the sides. So I only fill them about half full of soil. I let weeds grow in them. And I just keep them watered. When there's, you know, periods where there's no rain, I just water them. Anyways, I hope you find this useful. If you raise bees and you got an apiary, whether it's one hive or a hundred hives or a thousand hives. This is like, again, like I said, this is a slick, easy, cheap, economical way. And because the seedling trays are black, they're UV resistant. So, like I said, these are four years old. They've been sitting out here. Might even be five years old. I don't... I know I had them out here a year or two before I got cancer. I got cancer in 2020. So, let's say I put them out two years before I got cancer. So, 2018 to 2023, I'd make them five years old. So, uh, anyways... Thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Share this video to people you know that do beekeeping. And maybe they'll find this useful too.